All right, fans, I'm here with D-Man Davidson, and right now I want to bring up a, another match. Uh, see, that was the a tag team title match between Beauty and the Beast, the Bad Crew, and Hungarian Barbarian and Dirty Deeds Darren Wise. Hey, champ, what do you think about the Hungarian Barbarian? He's a big dude. Yes, he is. He's very big. I really am starting to like this guy. Let's see what happens. And we're getting set for the introduction of the three teams that will participate in our main event. Our commissioner, Dennis Stein, my broadcast said he's going to change up the rules for this match. He just informed the ring announcer. I guess we're all going to find out. Are you ready for this, Jerry? Listen up. Street fight. You're welcome, everybody. Got all that, Jerry. We await the arrivals of challengers number one, team number one of this three-way tag team match. Now, thanks to you, it's a cement and street fight. This thing is going to get even more wild and crazy than we originally anticipated. That's what I do. I'm the commish. Beauty and the Beast on their way to the ring. These fans making some noise. here with their own set of championship titles well you know i'm the commissioner i'm not supposed to be partial but i have to go with these guys they're team pxw Notoriously rough, tough, and violent teams to come down the pike in many years. The Bad Crew once again stepping into battle. And you have to believe that a match of this nature, this street fight that you've set up, it may be right down the alley of the Bad Crew. You know, they might be happy with my decision, but Beauty and the Beast, they're pretty rough and tough too. And as outlined, if the Bad Crew can defeat Deeds and the Barbarian, if they can win the match, then they can walk with the EWF Championships, the company that they compete for. 
Well, it's going to be tough to hold both titles, but it wouldn't surprise me if they would do that too. This is in many ways the worst nightmare, the worst possible situation for Darren Wise and the Hungarian Barbarian. They've taken the responsibility and the honor of being champions for two totally different companies, but I don't think they would have ever dreamed that they would have to defend them both against their two top challenging teams in the same match at the same time. Well, like I said, that's what I do. I make things interesting, and just when people know what's going on, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. And this is going to be history in the making. I am Jerry Strauss, of course, to my side, the commissioner of PXW, Mr. Dennis Stein. And Dennis, we are about ready to get underway with what is now going to be a wild, raucous, three-team street fight, thanks to you. You're welcome. Who do you think is going to win this one, Jerry? It is just such an unpredictable situation. I have no idea. There's no way to predict what's going to happen, but the brawl has started outside the ring. And here we go. The hunt. And how in the world do you summon up the courage to get in the face of the Hungarian Barbarian? There's not many guys that come close, but martial law is almost as big as the Hungarian Barbarian. Martial law, his head rammed into that turnbuckle, and the Barbarian, as always, has come to fight standing dropkick. And have you ever seen a man that size move in that manner? That's what I'm talking about, the Hungarian Barbarian. He's big, and he's huge, and he's also agile. It's a word that's used quite often in this sport, but the Barbarian, the Hungarian Barbarian, certainly a phenom. And his partner, Dirty Deeds, scrappy as ever, he's going to work with that leather belt on the outside. You know what, Jerry, maybe I was wrong about this one. Why don't you go out and stop it? I don't believe part of my job description is doing your dirty work, pardon the pun, so to speak. And there is the first chair shot heard around the building. I'm surprised it took this long. And we talked about how this is right up the bad cruise alley, but certainly Dirty Deeds and the Barbarian, they love themselves a good old-fashioned street fight. I think everybody in this match does. They're all, they all look like they're having a good time. Well, I think everyone in this building does as well, and everyone's having a good time here at Joint Custody. We thank you so much for supporting us and for checking us out here on DVD. How about you and me go down there and make it a four-way? Well, which championships would we win? All of them. Action in the ring, action out of the ring. And our camera crew doing a tremendous job of attempting to keep up with the action, but quite frankly, folks, it's going to be damn near impossible. We'll do what we can here at the broadcast position as well. Dirty Deeds just hurling that garbage can lid. And all six of these men so familiar with each other. Drop to hold. And Lovebug going for 
for the cover, set to ring. And he was one second away from walking out of Cementon with the PXW Tag Team titles. And I guess if there is a plus side for the champs, if, there, if this could be considered a positive, they are not at risk of losing both championships. At worst, they will only lose one set of titles depending on who hypothetically would win the match. Barbarian, oh, reversal the whip, and Barbarian hits the ladder. Martial Law may be saving his own back, and now a cover only gets a, another two count. What a fitting end to joint custody. The best represented here tonight from the EWF and PXW. And the best from Martial Law using that ladder and just going a frickin' town. And now, Darren Wise, Dirty Deeds himself, collides with the ladder, and the ladder will win every time. And the bad crew is showing how they got their name. But watch out from behind because the big man is wielding an even bigger ladder. The champions standing tall in the middle of the ring. What have they got planned? Sorry, Jerry, I had to go take care of some important business. Had to use the can, huh? Yeah, who told? That old woman in the ladies' room, that was wondering why you were in there. Martial Law hits the ladder hard. And uh, Dirty Deeds, unsuccessful. So what I miss? Anything good? Well, you missed pure chaos and violence, my friend. Oh, good, okay. Darren Wise! Baseball slide taking down both guys. I showed them how to, how to do that, you know. A baseball slide or falling down? Both. Oh, and look at the barbarian slingshot into a splash. Two. Oh. And he's frustrated. The big man almost got the win right there, but the battle continues. Close, close, but no cigar, HB. And at different times during this match, it, it's appeared that different teams have been in the dominant position. They've been able to work together and stand tall. And right now, it's the bad crew. Are you sure you, you don't want to go down and make it a four-way? I think I'm happy back here. I might be happier in my car getting the hell out of here, but I know we have a job to do. And Dirty Deeds just tossed off of that pin attempt. Did you see that drop kick out there by HB? The man seemingly defies gravity. Certainly he defies physics for a man his size to do the things that he does. I showed him how to do that drop kick, remember? Dirty Deeds going to town. The smallest man in this match is fired up. You know the old saying, big things come in small packages, and Dirty Deeds is a perfect example. Are you saying he's a big thing? No, but his actions are sometimes. I'll buy that. The Barbarian. Back on the attack now. Into the opposite corner.
And another situation where I believe the rules dictate that the match has to end in the middle of the ring. That's exactly right. A pinfall has to happen. Oh, hold on. Speaking of a pinfall, we got one. Here we go. There's my team, PXW. Beauty and the Beast have made history. They have shocked the world, and they have certainly shocked Dirty Deeds and the Barbarian. They've walked out of here with the with the PXW titles, but the fight it may continue. I'm proud of my boys. They brought the gold back. It's the start of a new era in PXW, and it's a start of new tag team champions. Beauty and the Beast are walking out of Cementon with the gold. What a way to end the night. You know, that was one of the only titles they have not won, and now they have. I think their, their collection is complete. Take nothing away from Bad Crew. Take nothing away from the Hungarian Barbarian and Dirty Deeds. And the new champs want a handshake. They want some sportsmanship, but the champions... They're frustrated. They're, they're taking a walk. Well, I guess you can call them a bunch of sore losers, but I, I understand why they're acting like this. Deeds and the Barbarian wanted to walk out of here and beat the odds. They wanted to walk out of here with uh, both of their championship reigns intact, but it was not to be, it was Beauty and the Beast night. respect between the bad crew and beauty and the beast well you know bad crew is the teachers beauty and the beast the students Our money makers too, Jerry. Let's go. 
Oh, I don't think I can compete with that, man. Come on, buddy. Shake what your mama gave you. And listen to the people. The oh, you got to be kidding me. It's a good thing we got cameras going, because they won't do this often. Oh, my goodness. It's like the blue oyster in the rain, but we're all having a good time. Yo, he's inviting us. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Kamish. Oh, you know, my, uh, my bad knee is acting up again. I can't go up there. Oh. The kids having a good time. The adults having a good time as well. We're all having a good time here in Cementon. I can't wait for the after party. It looks like it already started. I can't think of a better way to end the night. Joint oh, custody, so PXW, EWF, showing everything they got. And hopefully a lot more to come. And we thank you fans once again for joining us, for supporting us, and for checking out the amazing talent that we have brought to the table here tonight. All right, fans, there you have it. New PXW Tag Team Champ. First time, in fact, for uh, Beauty and the Beast. The first taste of gold. You know what gold tastes like. You, you've been our heavyweight champion for a while. Uh, but that, that was a great match. And plus, thanks to me, I made that one a cement street fight. So uh, anything goes. You like anything goes, right? Yeah. Yes, you do. Anyway, uh, congratulations to Beauty and the Beast winning the tag team titles for the first time in PXW. And... Do you have anything else to say? All right, there you have it. All right, fans, there you have it. Another great episode of XTV. Let's recap what we saw. The 2004 X Cup Tag Team... What do you... Anyway, the 2004 X Cup winners for the tag teams, the Hungarian Barbarian and Dirty Deeds, Darren Wise. Then we also saw the debut of J.C. Wessler against Mr. Motion. Mr. Motion picking up the victory. And then we also saw uh, Beauty and the Beast winning their first tag team title victories. In P their win, in fact. The and I guess my co-host is out. So for D-Man Davidson and myself, the Commissioner Dennis Stein, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe, slam that like button, and share it. If you didn't like it, let us know by slamming that dislike button twice. Thanks for watching. See you soon.